Let me show you how to use electrode potentials to predict the feasibility of a reaction. When comparing redox reactions against each other, a more negative electrode potential denotes the chemical species will behave as a stronger reducing agent. Whereas a more positive electrode potential denotes the chemical species will behave as a stronger oxidizing agent. So looking at the SN2 plus SN4 plus reaction has the more negative electrode potential and should be acting as the reducing agent. So the SN2 plus ion should be donating electrons to the copper plus ions. For the half equation to represent this, we need to shift the position of equilibrium to the left hand side. So it's donating electrons. On the other hand, the Cu plus Cu system has the more positive electrode potential and should be acting as the oxidizing agent. So the copper ions should be receiving or accepting electrons from the SN2 plus ions. Therefore, we need to move the position of equilibrium to the right hand side to represent this behaving as an oxidizing agent. Finally, we combine the two half equations, having to multiply the copper one by two to balance out the number of electrons, cancelling them down, to leave us with the overall feasible redox reaction.